Next up is a really, really cool demo uh, from David Kahn, who is the co-founder and CEO of Double Robotics. Welcome, David. Thanks. This is Double. It's an iPad-based telepresence robot. It's essentially an iPad on top of a Segway. Uh, as you can see, we're using the iPad as the brain, as the communication system. And the uh, base has some very sophisticated balancing technology in it. Um, and so it balances on two wheels. And I'll show you how it works right here. So it has two kickstands when it's not you when it's not balancing, and it's uh, it's so it's not using any power when it's on the kickstands there. And this is a very simple driving interface that we've uh, we've created. What's great about using the iPad is that we can create multiple driving interfaces, so we can experiment with different different kinds of user interfaces. This is just one of them. It also has a pole that goes up and down. So you can be at standing height talking to somebody or sitting at a table uh, having a meeting with them. What's very exciting about this is that we've had over 800 pre-orders for, uh, for these units. And these are coming from all different kinds of customers, uh, including people like universities, uh, translators, um, retail establishments, uh, of course, office telepresence. Um, so it's very exciting. I mean, you can imagine in a retail setting, you could have a, uh, a remote checkout kiosk. You just put a little, eye, uh, a little uh, credit card reader on the top there, and, uh, and you can swipe a card and uh, check out anywhere in the store, just like an Apple store. But, um, you don't even need a human involved. Um, so what's very exciting is that we've, uh, we've been working on this for about a year and a half now, and with a very, very small team. Uh, we've been able to accomplish quite a lot. We've just recently doubled our size of our team to six people. Uh, we did the Y Combinator program this summer, and um, it was a really great experience for us, even as a hardware company. Um, and that's been, uh, it's been a lot of fun to, to learn from that experience. Um, I want to show you something uh, kind of special right now. I'm going to call into our office that's in uh, Sunnyvale, California. It's about 3 in the morning there, so we'll see if anybody's up. Oh, that's, uh, that's my co-founder in the back there. That's Mark. I'm going to drive forward and see if I can go see him. Oh, but here comes our new feature. Looks like I've hit something. So I'm going to turn on the other camera on the iPad. We've attached a very small mirror. And so now you can look down while you're driving. This is the number one request we've had from, uh, from users while they've been driving. And they said, hey, you know what? I run over a shoe. I run into a box. I don't know where I'm going. Just like that, I can drive right by it and see where I'm going. And I can say hello to Mark. So this is a new feature that we're going to include in all of our new um, and all of our all of our orders um, that will ship, and we're going to start shipping very very soon. Um, one thing that's great about using the iPad is that we can use all of these uh, these SDKs that other people have already created for us, such as um, the video is going through OpenTalk. Um, it's actually using the WebRTC uh, standard, uh, but that's. Uh, it's, it's, it's one of the benefits of being a, a very small startup is we can use other people's technology like that uh, in this day and age. There's, there's been some other robots like this that have been developed in the past, but um, they didn't have the iPad, and, uh, and they're very, very expensive. We're selling ours for just $2,000 uh, compared to things like $6,000 and $10,000. So um, uh, people have really responded to the price point and also to the design. Um, so I'll be around uh, after this uh, during lunch. And uh, if you want to have a demo, uh, you can give it a test drive. Thanks for listening.